Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Some World 2 news video. Now it was only yesterday we also got the Cathcart Circle announcement. Cane Creek Canal, uh, are the 16 screenshots I believe. So Union Pacific's Cane Creek subdivision is among the most dramatic and famous scenic rail lines in the American West. And it's coming soon to Train Some World 2. Get ready to journey through all inspiring, rugged and remote American West desert and canyon country in Utah while tackling heavy tonnage and daunting grades with the upcoming Union Pacific Cane Creek subdivision for Trains and World 2. Masterfully developed for Trains and World 2 by Skyhook Games, this upcoming route recreates the Union Pacific's famed Cane Creek subdivision, also known as the Cane Creek Branch. Widely renowned for its extraordinary and awesome western scenery, the Cane Creek subdivision extends from a connection with Union Pacific's Green River subdivision at Brendel, Utah, south to Potash, a uh, 35.8 route miles as cr created for Train Sim World 2. The route will also include a 5 mile section of the Union Pacific Green River subdivision east from Brendel to Thompson. The Cane Creek subdivision will offer heavy haul, tough American freight rail railroading at its memorable and challenging best. From Potash to Brendel, the Cane Creek line climbs nearly a thousand feet in elevation over a roller coaster profile featuring frequent grades of 1.2%, curves of up to 6 degrees, passage through 7,059 foot long bootlegger tunnel and a journey amid the towering cliffs of Moab bootlegger and Dragonfly Canyons. The Cane Creek Branch is a rail line that requires big diesels and lots of horsepower and you'll take the controls of the Union Pacific's potent General Electric AC4400CW and the veteran Elite Electromotive SD40-2 diesels which will be included with the Train Simulator 2 route. By American Railroad standards, the Cane Creek Branch is a newcomer. In the late 1950s, plans took form to tap massive potash deposits found on the Colorado River in Utah. By 1960, development of what would evolve in today's sprawling potash mine and processing facility south of, Mo south of Moab and near Cane Creek were rapidly taking form and the Denver and Rio Grande Western agreed to build a new branch from its main line at Brendel. Grading and construction of the new branch line was contracted to Morrison Knudsen and work began, uh, work began in August 1961. Morrison Knudsen completed its work in 1962 and DR and GWQs moved in to lay the tracks. The potash mine and facility at the south end of the line began production in late 1964 and the branch was operated by DRGW as its Cane Creek branch until the roads merged into Union Pacific. And as I say, DRGW was combined with Southern Pacific in 1988 and merged into Union Pacific in 96. While there have been fluctuations in the amounts of potash being moved over the Cane Creek branch, it has been in nearly continuous use since the 1960s. Remarkably, the Cane Creek line gathered a second purpose and source of ex extensive tonnage. In 2008, Moab had long been the site of a uranium mill, which closed in 1984, leaving approximately 12 million tonnes of dirt tailings behind. While these tailings are only modest, modestly radioactive, the risk of their erosion into the nearby Colorado River required eventually re uh, reclamation. Under the uh, auspices of the United States Department of Energy, a burial site for the tailings was developed at Brendel, and trainloads of contaminated soil began moving over the length of the Cane Creek to Brendel. These uh, unusual uh, rail movements, nicknamed the Dirty Dirt Trains, are expected to continue until approximately 2028. Given that both the potash and contaminated soil tonnage involved carrying loads northbound, the climb from potash and Moab to Brendel requires plenty of horsepower. The upcoming Cane Creek subdivision for Trains to World 2 will take you into the very heart of Utah's legendary desert and canyon country and scenic settings that are awesomely realistic. Aboard superbly modelled Union Pacific 
GE AC4400 and SD40 diesels. You work heavy tonnage up and down daunting grades, handle switching at the sprawling Potash Mine and Facility and Moab Dirt Loading Site, travel along the historic Colorado River and pass below the famed Sandstone Corona Arch. Corona Arch. In addition to its GE and EMD diesel locomotives, the route will include two types of covered hoppers, um, an open top hopper and tank car, and realistic selection of 12, 12 scenarios, and a challenging 24 hour timetable that will fully test your skills as an engineer. And yeah, it's just basically stay, stay tuned for, uh, well, what, what there is to come. So that was Cane Creek, obviously coming soon, so probably next month or so. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that. Obviously, another American freight route. Obviously, the first Union Pacific one, and then a completely new landscape as well. Obviously, an arid sort of dry landscape. But that is going to be it for me. Obviously, hopefully, everyone has enjoyed. It. Obviously, thanks to uh, DTG or Skyhook for the article. Uh, obviously, you will find links in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, to the merch store. You see all of that on screen now. But that is going to be it for me. Thanks for coming in. Do subscribe for more. We will be uh, getting Kane Creek as soon as it does come out. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>